I'm Tom Bassett, and in this video, I'm going to show you how user access policies can help to automate the assignment of permission sets, permission set groups, permission set licenses, public groups, and queues. In the summer 23 release, Salesforce have given us the ability to turn on this feature ourselves. From setup, navigate to user management settings and you'll see a toggle to enable user access policies beta. Once enabled, you'll then see user access policies from the side menu. From here, I can plan, draft, and activate user access policies to target particular users and automate the assignment of particular permissions. To get started, press on new. From here, give your user access policy a label and the API name should automatically populate. You can set when the user access policy runs. So for example, it, you can define whether you want it to only run when the user is created, updated, or created and updated. I'm going to choose the last option. For now, I'm going to leave the status of my user access policy in design, which means that it's not currently active. Once I press save, I'll be directed to the screen where I can configure my policy. From here, I'm going to press on edit. I'm going to make my policy only apply to users where profile equals system administrator. I can also define additional filters. For example, if the user equals true. From the available actions, I can now grant or revoke selected types of permissions. So for example, I want to grant all system administrators the CRM user permission set. I also want to grant them a permission set license for analytics. I additionally want to put them into the system administrators public group. Also, I want to add them into the case queue. When I press save, my user access policy will now be saved and I can now preview the users for which it will impact. So you can see here that it's going to impact one user. To show you how this works in practice, I am going to now make my user access policy active. So from here, I'm going to set the status to active and then press save. I'm now going to navigate to my own user record. And you can currently see that there are no permission set assignments, permission set group assignments, licenses, public groups, or queues active here. And in addition, there are no package license is uh, assigned either. So from here, I'm going to simply edit the record. And then I'm going to save. This should now trigger the user access policy. And when I scroll down, I can see that I have been assigned the CRM user permission set. As a result, I've now got the CRM user permission set license. I've also been granted the analytics platform permission set license. I've been added into the system administrators public group, and I've also been added into the case queue as well. But hopefully this gives you a flavor of the future of user access, considering that Salesforce are retiring some profile permissions from 2026. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and add any feedback in the comments. Thanks.